Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose, I'm Chris Riley, and today we're gonna do a little review of a segment I did back in January 2025 with Dr. Megan Cooper, a urologist from Mayo Clinic. Some of the biggest takeaways were stone size and does it matter? Yes, it does actually. Stone size less than five millimeters is gonna have a greater than 90% chance of spontaneously passing. Stones between five and seven millimeters are gonna be about a 50-50 chance, and then stones greater than seven millimeters is gonna be about a less than 30% chance of passing. Keep in mind, prior stone formers or people who have passed multiple stones in the past can tolerate much larger stone sizes. Dr. Cooper talked about a patient she had that passed a one centimeter stone spontaneously. Ouch. Another key takeaway here is these patients typically don't need opiates. That shouldn't be your first go-to here. It should be Ketorolac, which is a very strong, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. Typically, these patients will do well with pain control with this NSAID. If their pain is well controlled and the stone is uncomplicated, you can send these patients home with a urology follow-up as well as a prescription for Ketorolac oral form. We also talked about imaging where urologists absolutely want the imaging. We in the emergency department need to think about is imaging actually necessary in these patients. If your patient is undifferentiated or sicker, you should absolutely be getting the CT scan. For well-appearing patients who come in saying, this feels like my kidney stone, I've had this before, and there's nothing concerning on your physical exam, their vital signs are stable, and they are a reasonable human being, it's totally reasonable to send them for a urology clinic follow-up appointment with strict return precautions to the emergency department. If you're still a little bit concerned and wanna get some imaging, you can absolutely utilize point-of-care ultrasound at bedside, to look for any hydronephrosis, evidence of stone, or decrease ureteral jets, which you can see with color flow Doppler. And lastly, a huge takeaway point was that it is reasonable to trial outpatient management with antibiotics and strict return precautions to the emergency department in patients that are reasonable human beings, they are well appearing with a positive urinalysis and kidney stones. Remember, a lot of these gray area patients come down to your physician gestalt. You're the one seeing the patient. If you have any questions about anything that's on the borderline, call your urologist to talk this case through and possibly set up an intervention for that patient while they're in the emergency department.